This is what finally acknowledging a dream at 29 years old looks like. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I hope that your day is off to the most beautiful start. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in the world. And thank you so much for pressing play on today's video. Also, my name is Misako. I forgot to say that. Um, it is exactly 8 a.m. right now. I need to leave the house in 30 minutes because I'm about to go into three hours of dance classes. Dance, yeah, two dance classes at a new studio because I'm finally acknowledging my dream of being a dancer. Um, it's something that was, uh, dance has always been like the art form that came, that comes the most easily for me, that I am I'm easily, easily able to enter my flow state in. It's, it's probably the thing I love the most. It was the first art that I got into as a kid and I let what I thought a dancer should look like or perform like or, uh, train like keep me from staying in it consistently. I don't know how many times I've told this story on my channel or online, but I danced on a competitive dance team um, starting when I was eight years old until I was 12. Um, yeah, it was from third grade to seventh grade. Then we moved to Pittsburgh. Um, so I was in LA. We we didn't even train in like a studio. We had those blue tarps that you like put over, I don't know, like construction materials. We would put that down on the concrete outside of our elementary school and we would practice on that. And then we would compete on the weekends and we would win. We would win. It was so good. It was the most fun I've ever had in my life. It was like the thing that lit me up. When I would get onto that gym floor and perform, it, there was just no feeling like it. I loved dance, I loved performing, and I still do. Um, but like I said, I let the idea of what, how I should have trained, um, the fact that I didn't have traditional training when I moved to Pittsburgh, and also it just like wasn't as soulful, and it was a bit more just like traditional ballet and, and those types of classes. And I just, one, didn't, I didn't feel connected to my options there, and two, I didn't think that I would be able to keep up because I had never been in a dance studio. I had never done training like that. My dance coach, Tashia, bless her soul, she's the, she's the one who first saw this gift within me. I actually reached out to her recently to thank her for this. Um, she would, you know, she would train us and do the best she could, but like, we, we, didn't, we didn't have a bar, we didn't have even a space indoors to practice. So, um, yeah, I just let that get to my head as a kid and I stopped. I would pop into classes every now and then, but I just like did not have the confidence to keep going. I revisited dance in adulthood at Edge Studios in LA, um, or I think it was Edge Dance School. Anyways, it's no longer exists, but shout out to Dean. He was the teacher that got me back into it in my early 20s. I would just dance every Saturday, nothing serious. Um, and then I moved to Mexico and I stopped again. And I'm just now getting back into it. I've been training with Lorenzo. If you watch my pilot for Thriving, you know Lorenzo from that. He's been an incredible, like, just light in my life as a friend, but also as a dance teacher and has really given me the confidence and seen me the same well as Shia saw me. And today I'm going to a new studio for the first time. Um, it looks pretty advanced, but I mean, just something happened during my ayahuasca ceremony that I just like have this confidence. I'm like, maybe I'll be behind, probably, you know, but I will pick it up eventually. And also this is for me. I don't need to be the best person in the class. I don't need to be able to pick up the choreography, choreography super quickly. I'm going because I love dance and I wanna train my body to do what I know that it can do. So I'm really happy that this dance studio because I've just been training with Lorenzo and he teaches um, Monday and Wednesday, but he has his, you know, he has his own life and, and jobs. And so I can't be dancing with him all the time. So I was like, I need to find not only other dance classes, but other like dance styles. I want to get back into hip hop. I want to do jazz, lyrical jazz um, and more contemporary classes. So I found this really incredible studio. They have classes in the morning and the evening, but um, I love starting my day with with movement. And um, so that's what I'm doing today, this morning. I'm doing two classes back to back because um, 
I want to take the first class and then I just looked into the second teacher and, and they look amazing so I'll be doing the second class as well and um, yeah this is this is the year that I acknowledge that side of me for real like I want to be in classes every single day um, when I got back from from Puerto, I started renting just like a, a studio space here to dance by myself in the mornings. I did that for like a week because I need to train. I want to train. So that's what we're doing this morning. I've, I've poorly made my bed. <laughs> I'm going to make some matcha now. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Um, it's a long time coming and I hope if you're watching this video, maybe this is the sign you need. I'm, I turned 30 this year, I'm 29. And I, like, you know, God willing, I still have so much time ahead of me. There's, it's never too late. It's never too late. I don't feel ashamed of the fact that I'm entering these classes at this age. Yeah, I'm like very, very ready for this. I know that I deserve to be there just as much as everyone else. And I said this in a TikTok that I posted last night. 2024 is truly the year of stepping into your purpose and acknowledging your dreams. We, we've been waiting. We've been waiting for people to give us permission. We've been waiting for the perfect pieces to fall into place. We've been waiting. We've been waiting. It's enough with the waiting. I'm tired of waiting. I know you're tired of waiting too. So yeah, I'm really going after it all this year. And I feel this deep like sense of like I'm just I'm, I'm more confident than I've ever been and I truly have mama ayahuasca to thank for that like I have this clarity and alignment that I mean it just I've never experienced this before the self-doubt that I used to feel doing everything it's gone um and I'm just like I'm doing whatever I need to do to make these dreams happen to make to make the people before me proud to carry on these dreams and so yeah baby I'm ready love this let me just tell you putting this in my this is not an ad putting this in my morning matcha the level of clarity and focus and sharpness i feel unmatched um it's like a bunch of functional mushrooms there's lion's mane cordyceps reishi all the good stuff and i really am into just like plant medicine obviously but specifically like functional mushrooms are my thing y'all know what this is the most magical coconut milk ever magical coconut milk ever i've talked about this on my channel um but yeah i'm just like i'm i'm putting my money where my mouth is i um i will never forget this conversation i had with jade fox let me make sure this is still recording i have it in my pocket oh yeah i will never forget this conversation i had with jade fox it was at one of the creator events that I was working for for YouTube and I was like how do you stay I think I've shared this on this channel before I was like how do you stay so consistent how do you stay on top of everything she's like it really comes down to the fact that I really want it like I want it um, and I think like what I took away from that is like yeah that's that's really what it comes down to. You have to own the fact that you want it. And if you're not putting the energy behind your words and your work, then you don't really want it. Um, and I think that I, I, for a while was like, I know I can do it. I know that I can do this. I just need someone to give me the funding and the opportunity and blah, blah, blah. Like, I know that I can do it, but I had never done it. I had never shown people my work. I wasn't making videos. I. I wasn't showing up consistently. I wasn't becoming a better filmmaker. I wasn't becoming a better creator. I just knew in my head that I wanted it and that I could do it, but I wasn't doing it. And like you're expecting people to believe in you when you're not even doing the thing. What do they have to believe in? What do they have to believe in? So I'm like, I am giving people something to believe in now. <laughs> I'm giving people something to believe in. And that is my pre-dance TED talk. I'm going to drink my coconut milky functional mushroom filled matcha 
and then um, I'm gonna start my trek to the studio. Class starts at 9.30, I wanna get there at nine so that I can register and just be comfortable and not be rushing. Um, and also make sure that I can take these classes because I'm not sure what their system is. I'm, I'm entering some level two classes and I don't know if I need to enter level one before I go into them. So I wanna get that all sorted and I don't wanna feel rushed. So um, I will talk to you on my walk. I hope that if you're watching this, you feel inspired to sign up for whatever class or it doesn't even have to be a class to just start doing the thing that you've been stopping yourself from doing. I hope this video is your sign to get back into it or to get into it in the first place. I feel like with me, I'm really entering these spaces for the first time. Like, I don't have the studio experience. Even like when it comes to choreography, you know, we learned one dance routine a year and there's a new routine every day, day class, right? I think it's gonna be really good for my brain and my memory, but it's all new for me. Um, and I'm not afraid to be seen doing something new, to be seen flailing or flopping, um, because that's part of this process too. And like I always say, if anyone has anything negative to say about you and your process, you on your journey of figuring your things out, learning new things, that has so much more to say about them than it does about you. I'm concerned, like, if you are worried about what I'm doing, why are you so worried? <laughs> like, you should be focused on yourself. So that's kind of been my whole mindset um, when it comes to just, like, entering these new spaces. Like, you really should not be worried about me. We should all just be worried about ourselves. Uh, not in, like, a narcissistic way, but just, like, focused on yourself, you know? So, look at these beautiful flowers. Well, I'm going to put the camera away and just enjoy this walk. And I will check in after my class. Whoa. It is the next morning and I'm heading back to the dance studio. I was absolutely gagged yesterday. Wow. I have definitely found my dance home in Mexico City. I'm so, so happy. The classes were increíble. Increíble. I took the first one. Also, it's just like, I know I've been talking about this a lot, but my experience with ayahuasca was so transformative and, and the confidence I gained from that experience, it's just totally transformed me as a dancer. The way I was able to slip into this, it was the most advanced class they had. And I've never taken an official contemporary class. Like I've trained with Lorenzo, but this was like an hour of improv. Um, and I just like, my body knew what to do. It felt so good. I was in the right place. I loved it. And then we went into choreo and that's probably the part that I'm most insecure about. Like, I feel like my body has the range. Like I can move, but picking up choreography quickly and memorizing it, that is what I need to work on. And also my technique. But the contemporary class, it was really just about flowing like technique was not, I'm so backlit, <laughs> was not a huge part of it. Um, there were moves and turns and things like that and across the floor and like things that required strength and stability. But like, I know that I can learn that. I didn't feel insecure about that. And it was mostly about just doing what felt good in your body. And that class felt so good. It was an hour and a half and I was just loving it. And then the next class was way more technical. <laughs> I knew by the warm up that I was probably in over my head. And to be honest, like once we got to the choreo part and he was moving so quickly, I, I couldn't keep up. I wanted to leave so badly, but I was like, I'm not quitting. And so I tried. And then eventually, like I was just in over my head. So instead of leaving, I sat and I watched. I tried my best. I learned the whole thing, but I just like I, I mentally I'm not there yet. Like the speed at which he was moving, it was he would do the moves once and then move on but it that that routine brought me to tears watching I, i'm probably the oldest one in there like it's mostly younger people probably in their early 20s um and i'm not i mean i'm not that much older i'm only 29 but i definitely was like in awe of them also i love that it was all mexican people like the whole class was in spanish i was the only non-mexican person there um 
and they were killing it. I was crying at the routine of the second class because it was just like so beautiful. And like to be able to witness people like in their purpose, expressing themselves in the art form that's like most aligned with them. It's something that like just takes my breath away every time. So I'm grateful that I was able to witness their greatness. It was, it was, it was like so inspiring. Um, and yeah, best believe I'm on my way back. I'm like, this is where I'm going to become a great dancer. This is my dance home. I don't have to go back to LA to become a great dancer. I can do it right here. Um, so I'm very excited. I don't want to be backlit this whole time. Um, I'm great. I'm very excited and grateful to have found this studio. Um, and I can't wait to see where I'm at in just like a year or a few months. Like I already feel like a better dancer. Hold on, let me, I'm gonna finish this off facing the light so that it doesn't look so crazy. Beautiful. Okay. I already feel like a way better dancer than I was when I entered that class yesterday. Like that's how incredible it was. My knees are all bruised up. I like, I loved it. I loved it. And I enjoyed the challenge of the second class, even though I was really genuinely struggling and like so desperately wanted to, to leave. I was like, no one is, it would be more, I would judge myself if I was on the outside more if I left, you know, not that it's about anyone else but me, but like, I didn't want to do that to myself. I'm like, okay, I can't keep up. I'm going to sit and watch and learn from these kids, not kids, younger adults. Um, and they were teaching me, like I said, I was, yeah, <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. I can't wait to go back. This is, um, another teacher. It's a different level. So I'm excited to see like the different styles, the different teachers. I knew the second class that I was walking into was probably going to be a bit advanced because I went because I saw his video on Instagram and I was like, that is the style I want to learn. But based on the choreography he was doing, I was like, I'm, I know that I will be struggling, but I'm going to try. And that's just my, my outlook in this chapter of my life. Like, okay, it's not going to be easy, but I'm still going to try and I'll find out if that's the level for me or if that's the method I need to be learning or whatever. And then I'll adjust. I'm not going to, like I used to, not even give myself a chance to try. So we're doing our best. We're trying it all. We're getting into the class. We're, we're, and we're feeling confident the whole time. So I hope that this video was inspiring for those of you out there who are thinking about getting back into an old passion or just trying something new for the first time. It doesn't even have to be something you used to be passionate about, just something that you've been dying to do. Um, I think you should give yourself permission to try this year. I'm going to continue my walk to the studio. I wanna thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for showing up for me. Thank you for being patient with me. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here.